If you're a fan of all things Power Rangers and Power Rangers related and you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. So Power Ranger Beast Morphers Season 2 is finally out and on the same day we had the New York Toy Fair with the Hasbro panel where they revealed a lot of things that sort of got leaked but if there's one big surprise that we had that was an extended trailer for Power Ranger Beast Morphers Season 2 showing us the stuff that is to come later this year. Now I don't know if these episodes are going to be the first half of the season but either way it's very exciting and in this video we'll be doing another trailer breakdown. Now I won't be covering everything that happens in the trailer because most of it is an extended trailer of the trailers we've already gotten such as new zords, new weapons and stuff like that. So I'll be going over all the new stuff we got and maybe some of the stuff I missed in the 30 second trailer because I believe this one was sort of different compared to the last one that we saw. So with that said, let's get right into this trailer breakdown talking about the extended trailer for Power Ranger Beast Morphers Season 2. Pretending to be the Red Ranger's father, it's the key to everything! <laughs> Now first up is the big first reveal we get in this trailer, that is Evox posing as Mayor Daniels. Now at last year I made a speculation video saying, is Mayor Daniels going to turn evil? Is he going to be the host of the Evox virus? And it sort of appears that way. So the really interesting take that we've got on this is sort of a corrupt politician and someone who was inside the Rangers base the whole time. Because if Evox is posing as Mayor Daniels, be able to get inside grid battle forts and learn all their secrets so whatever way they're going to take this storyline is mayor daniel's going to be secretly stealing uh more effects and stuff like that i'm curious to see what they'll do with it and how long this storyline will last will it go through the whole season or will it only be the first half of the second season who knows but i'm excited to find out and i'm really stoked that my theory was true i know a lot of people were predicting this as well but this is really cool that this theory that I speculated and guessed came true. So it makes me feel a little bit good giving myself a pat on the shoulder because I got this theory right. But hey, Evil Mayor Daniels and Co Kevin Copeland seeing him do the evil laugh in the trailer was really cool. So I'm glad to see this character or this actor play the good and the bad of Mayor Daniels. I'm really excited for that. And Power Rangers is going to have corrupt politics maybe, possibly. Who knows? I'm excited, you're excited, get excited. We're back! Next up we've got the return of evil Kobe and Liana bringing back their evil counterparts in the form of Robo Blaze and Robo Roxy. Now we had no idea if there would be an evil Roxy until we saw the trailer for season 2 a few weeks ago but this confirms that Blaze and Roxy are back and eviler than ever. What's also really cool about their new Robo forms in this series is that you can see that Liana has purple streaks in her hair and the tint in Kobe's hair is a lot more yellower with his little hairdo going up so it symbolizes that these are totally brand new forms and creations by Scrozzle so it's really cool to see the characters look different and once again the Go Busters suit really look nice the Roxy suit is just a purple skin of the one that we got last year where that was yellow and the Blaze Enter suit looks really nice. A lot of people saying it is a downgrade from the Sentai, which it kind of is by episode count, but it looks really cool and it looks really nice with the cape flapping in the distance as he runs towards the screen. So these suits I really do like and I can't wait to see toys of this or even a lightning figure collection of these characters later down the line because these costumes look really friggin' sweet. After that we then get a montage of different shots of cool action scenes happening. Some of it we already know such as Beast X Battle Mode and Brand New Zords will be getting this season that was shown in the previous trailer. But there's one interesting screenshot that I missed in the last trailer and that is Cruz having weird tire hands. Now this is new, this has never been seen before, I might have missed it in the other trailer but I have no idea what's up with Cruz and his tire arms and tire hands. I missed it in the previous trailer, no idea what's going on. I don't know if it's a Sentai thing or it's a brand new American footage thing. I'd like to find out and it's got me very curious. So Cruz has tires for hands and I want to know what's going on. After that we then have the next part of the trailer that everyone is talking about and that is the triple dino team up. We see several characters unmorphed, characters that we knew that were coming back and couldn't confirm they were coming back 
and now it's confirmed, you see an unmorphed shot of Jason Lee Scott, Tyler Navarro, Chase Randall, Coda, and Sir Ivan of Xandar. Those characters are confirmed to be returning for Power Ranger Beast Morphers Season 2 in the Dino Team Up Special, which is great, great news. No words on the RPM stuff, I guess they're hiding that for later, and I guess we'll find out more about that special later down the line, but I'm excited for this team up that will be happening in a few months or weeks. Who knows when these episodes are going to drop, because it confirms that the characters that we knew that were coming back are definitely coming back. Now as for the other ranges you see only morphed, we have no word if the actors are doing ADR work or voiceover work for their characters. We have no idea if they're going to reprise their roles in voiceover form. I guess that is a secret kept for now until we find out closer to the episode's release date or when the episode airs on TV. So that is going to be kept in the dark for the longest time. But Either way, I'm curious to see what they'll do with those morphed ranges because they have to do their roll call eventually unless they keep the characters silent and have someone dubbing over the grunts and the heyars and the kars. So that is left up in the air for now. I'm hoping they can get whoever they can get to reprise their roles for ADR work since they don't have to fly them to New Zealand for that. They can go to a local recording booth or something or record it at their home. Who knows what's going on? but I'm curious to find out what they'll do with it. After that, the trailer then ends on a funny joke because after all that action, you think we're going to get some more serious reveals, but no, it's one little funny joke between Ben and Betty and General Burke, which I gotta admit, they did have me tricked for a second thinking we would be seeing those two coloured rangers, green and black, making an appearance in the show, but you don't get to see what they're working on, you get to see their funny home video collection, but it does show that General Burke and the Mayor are working on something in Grid Battle Force. What that is, no idea, but it has to be Power Rangers related if he's training up his kids in some shape or fashion. So who knows what's going on over there. And there you have it folks, my breakdown of the extended trailer for Power Ranger Beast Morphers Season 2. And this season looks very promising and a lot of fun because a lot of cast members have been hyping it up on social media saying this season is going to be really crazy and a lot of fun and I believe him I think this season is going to be a lot of fun and really crazy with the stuff that is going to be happening later down the line they've been hyping up the dino team up for the past year ever since it was leaked or we've been hyping it up ever since it's been leaked Power Rangers have been hyping up hyping it up ever since the reveal at comic-con but either way I'm really excited but anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications because notifications are important because sometimes YouTube is broken and they turn them off for you. So if your notifications aren't turned on for this channel, be sure to turn them on after you subscribe. Or if you are subscribed, turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update by me. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Peace out and take care. See you later. Bye.